Hi, I'm Mira from Floor with Mira. This is intermediate and advanced Pilates full core strength class. So if you have a previous Pilates experience, come and join me and let's have some fun. We're gonna start the class standing up. So standing towards the back of your mat today. So have your feet parallel positioned, arms long by the side. As usual, standing nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, as we nod the head down, we're gonna soften the knees, we're gonna start articulating the spine. So just a little warm up in the spine here. Stay in flexion as much as you can, and then go ahead and tip the pelvis forward and bring the body closer to the floor. We inhale, exhale, roll the spine up, keeping your knees slightly soft here. Stacking up the pelvis upright, and then the lower spine, middle spine, upper spine, shoulders open, neck is long. Head is floating. Again, two more inhale. Exhale, roll it down. Keep it easy, softening the knees. And just observe how you're feeling today. Are you feeling a little stiff? Are you feeling really mobile today? Inhale, exhale. Whatever you're feeling, it's valid. Acknowledge it and then work through it. And lifting up. Again, one more time. Exhale, roll it down and take it all the way down. Inhale, exhale, roll out again, all the way up. And now the next one, we're gonna take ourselves down and then we're gonna transition ourselves to a quadruped position. So we roll down here and taking your hands down to the floor, walk your hands on a mat, bring the knees down onto a quadruped position, relax your Feet. Okay, let's go into some abdominal engagement. We call it a transverse abdominal engagement. We inhale, chest is open, spine is long. As we exhale, we're going to draw in or draw up the abdominal muscle hugging to the spine without taking your lower spine into flexion. So we're going to just draw the abdominal wall up, lifting, and let it go. Again, two more, exhale, wrapping up the waist, lined like a corset, pulling up towards the spine, and let it go. Two more, exhale, we lift, and let it go, one more time. Exhale, just lifting the abdominal muscle. And let it go as you inhale, tuck the toes under. We're going to do a modified front support. So press the feet down, press the hands down. Breathe out, pull in the belly in, and we float the knees up, keeping the spine long. We stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release, let's do one more time. Just warming up our core, inhale. Exhale, we lift, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let it go. Release the feet, pelvis down, quick, rest positioned, and roll up, take the legs forward for our roll up. So, legs are together. Lifting nice and tall or sitting nice and tall. Take your arms forward over your legs and rounding the back, palms and your arms facing each other for our roll up. We're gonna start from the top here. So C curve spine to start. Then we send the pelvis down. We curl the sacrum down, lower spine down. Let's take the arms overhead. Inhale, we lift, chest lift. Exhale, we peel up and into the C curve, and inhale, we stay. Exhale, we roll back. If this is too challenging to start with, you can bend the knees as you go down and take your arms over, and now curling up, and an exhale, and then go ahead and straighten the legs. So just modified the exercise, suiting your body today, and we go roll down. I'm just gonna keep my legs straight, and arms overhead. And inhale, we'll lift. Exhale, come up into the C curve. Again, we roll down into the chest lift, arms by the side, 
arms overhead. Again, inhale, lift arms by the side. Exhale, into the C curve. One last one. Exhale, we roll down, arms overhead. And an inhale, exhale, come up. Beautifully done. Okay, lift the spine. Bend the knees. We are going to do a short box series taken from the reformer exercises. So reformer is an equipment, a Pilates equipment here. So have your heels hip width distance apart. You can dorsiflex the feet slightly, interlace across the arms, lifting the spine tall to start. And we exhale into a round back in the short box series. And we roll back to a chest lift. Dig the heels down, in breath. Exhale, come up into the seeker. And then we'll lift the spine. Again, let's do four each. Round back. We roll back, dig the heels, dig the heels, dig the heels, in breath. Exhale, seeker. And we'll lift two more. Round back. And we roll back. Gaze is forward, in breath. Exhale. C curve, and we'll lift one more, and round back, roll back, in breath, exhale, round back, lift up for the flat back, so your feet are still, your legs are still in the same position here, so lean your head into your hands, elbows slightly forward, keeping your spine tall, we're just going to lean back on the inhale, exhale, inhale, lean back, Exhale, in breath, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, and to the till, to your right, inhale, side bend. Exhale, try to keep the spine long here and anchor the sitting bone down as you go over to the side. And an inhale, exhale, in breath. Exhale. So I like to think here is anchoring my sitting bone down as I go over to the opposite direction. And anchoring my right sitting bone down as I go over to the left and center. And to your right or to my right. Exhale. My feet are getting messy. I better take care of them. And then exhale. One more each side. In breath. And exhale. Last one. In breath. And let's go for the twist. We rotate, then we lean diagonally to the right, so that direction, come back. And we rotate, lean diagonally to the left, and come back. Rotate to the right, lean diagonally to the right, and come back. Keeping the spine long, so we're just gonna rotate. The spine stay long, or straight, and come back. Again, two more times, inhale, we reach. Exhale, we inhale, exhale, one more set, in breath, exhale, last one, in breath, exhale, well done, let it go, straighten the left leg, moving to climb a tree, another reformer exercise, so a Pilates equipment based exercise, so we're going to bend the right knee, sitting up tall here, we compress the hip joint for three times. One, two, three. Holding the back long, straighten the leg. Then we curl the spine, walk your hand down the leg. One, two, three. Circle the arms overhead, circle to the side, lift the head and chest up, left arm up, right one up, left one up, and lengthen the spine tall. One more time, again. Inhale, stretch. And as we go down, right arm, left arm, right arm, climbing down that tree, arms overhead, circle, lift up, left arm, right arm, left arm, reach tall, and let it go. Switch leg, left leg up. Okay, let's compress, three, two, one, straighten the left leg. And we walk down the tree as we roll the spine, left arm, right arm, left arm. Circle the arms around 
As we come up, right arm, left arm, right arm, lengthen, and we bend. Last one, compress. Two, three, straighten the leg, and we go down, left arm, right arm, left arm. Circle the arms around, and we come up, right, left, right. We straighten the back, straighten the legs, and let it go. Okay. Let's bring the feet in the bottom. Take the hands onto the top of the ankles, moving to our rolling like a ball. So we draw the feet off the floor. Balance on the tailbone. Lock the arms. Make your arms work. We're going to lock this shape here. So stay in a round back position. Gaze to your pelvis. And we inhale, roll to the shoulder. Inhale. Legs together here. Inhale. Exhale, heads off the floor. Exhale, three more. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Exhale, hold balanced. And take the leg up to the tabletop. Hands on the knee, please. And we're gonna transition ourselves down. As we breathe out, we articulate the spine away from the thumb. As you push your hand into the thighs, the knees and knees into, into your hands, head and bring the knees into a tabletop, ready for our double leg stretch. We inhale, stretch. Exhale. Inhale, legs together. Can we take your hands together, perhaps? Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And three more. Exhale. And two. Exhale, and one, two, single leg stretch, extend the left leg long, hands on the right knee, make sure your feet are on the same height, lift the chest a little higher, and we switch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last set, ten, and stay. Extend right leg up, left leg down for the hamstring pull one. And we breathe, pump. We switch. Straighten the leg down, lengthen the chest up. We pull, 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 pull. Two more sets. Last set. Last one. Both legs up to the ceiling, please. Bend the knees. Interlace your hands behind your head for the crisscross. We rotate to the right. Extend the left leg. Make sure the feet stays on the same height. And we twist. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, last eight, hamstring pull three, extend the legs, pull to you, we switch. Two more set, last set. Last one, both legs up, release the head down, bend the knees, arms out to the T position for our spine stretch. Nope, let's go spine twist supine. I totally gave you the wrong name. So, squeezing the legs together over to me, we rotate from the waistline as we inhale. Exhale, over to the left. Exhale, and again, one more each side like so. And left. Can we add some leg extension? Yeah, let's go to the right. Now hold, extend the top leg. So the left leg extended, legs stay together. Bring it back to the center and return over to the left. Top leg extended, the knee stays together. And then bring it back and center. To your right, left leg extend. Back to the middle and center. 
and left and stretch center let's go one more each side to the right and extend and back and last one left and extend and back and center lower one foot down second leg down stretch your legs long on the floor take your arms overhead ready for another roll up and then we're going to do some thigh stretch we inhale exhale come up and then lift the back all right let's come up onto your knees please for the thigh stretch we have the knees hip width distance apart Press the feet down, arms long in front of you here. Drawing up the lower abs, up towards the belly button. And then what we're gonna do, slight flexion, not flexion, actually slight posterior tilt in the pelvis here. Using your abs here, pull it in. Gaze is slightly diagonally down. Then we're gonna hold that abdominal. We're gonna lean back from the knees. So this guy is stable and come up. And let it go. Again, exhale, contract the abs. Lean back. And come forward and let it go. Exhale. In breath, hold. Exhale. If you look where I'm looking, actually, I'm not looking up. I'm actually looking diagonally down because I want to activate my upper abdominal as well as I lean back. And let it go, two more. Exhale. In breath. And forward. And last one. Exhale. In breath. And come forward. And let it go. Come and face me onto our sidekick kneeling. Arms are to the side. Let's go to, let's go to your right first. I'm gonna go to my left. Take my left hand down. Hand behind, straighten, we flex and we go. And three more, two more, last one, back, back, center, take it down, press that foot down here, stretch your top arm up and then we're gonna take the bottom leg behind the top leg and to our side plank here and then take the top arm over lift the pelvis out for a side bend and come back release the bottom knee and then come up interlace your hands behind your head so this is side over on short box also taken from the reformer exercise i want you to anchor the top foot down lean your body diagonal position so you have somewhat a straight line from the top of the head to your foot we inhale let's do six here exhale in breath exhale and three exhale and four i'm thinking top elbow to the ceiling and five exhale and six exhale come up and release other side arms out over down hand leg stretch flex the foot and we go two more sets last center we go down place the foot down stretch the top arm and bottom leg behind and then take the top arm over for a side bend here and take it up bottom knee down and come up interlace your hands behind the head for the short box short box side overs lean diagonally here we go down Exhale, and three, four, it's important that you anchor that top foot down, five, six, 
and come up and let it go. Well done. Go to our quadruped here. All four point position, four point kneeling position. And we're gonna do balance control front. So drawing the belly in, lengthening the lower spine or flattening the lower spine. And then we're gonna hold that spinal position, stretch one leg out. Second leg out, hold. Point your right foot, lift up, hip extension for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Point your left foot and up, two, three, four, and five. And from here, send the elbows back. Bend the elbows, that's what I'm trying to say, and descend ourselves down in five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Well done, release the ankles. Bend the elbows, forearm by the side. Let's go to our high swan. So we straighten the legs, active leg position, elbows drawing down to your feet, and we inhale as we articulate the spine to a maximum thoracic mid-back extension here. And then we use the abs and the arms to push up, 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 up. Send the elbows down and come on down. Again, we inhale. Active legs, active abs, drawing the shoulder blades down, articulate the spine, then push up. And elbows down. And release. Again, three more. Inhale. And all the way up. And exhale. All the way down. We've got two more. Inhale. Try to keep your legs as together as possible. Okay, so as together as possible. They might not be together, but as much as you can. Bring them together. So you're gonna work the adductors there. And the adductors is the muscles of the inner thighs. Again, last one. And up. And take it down. And release. Push the arms down, pull the belly in, push yourself to a rest position. In breath, exhale and roll up. Okay, grand finale exercise. Let's do T0-1. Let's do four of those, okay? All right, so lifting the spine. Tip back, bring the feet up, stretch your arms long, stretch your legs long. Here, and we go down, and up, arms over. Inhale, lift. Stretch your arm. Exhale. Arms overhead. Inhale. Lift. Make sure your feet stay at the same height the whole time. Inhale. We'll lift. One more. And exhale. And over. And lift. And up. And release. Bend the knee, knees out. <sighs> Inhale. Into a diamond leg position here. And exhale. As it is, roll the spine down. And roll all the way down to the floor. Stretching the spine. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. And take your arms with you. You know what, let's circle the arms to the side and bring it forward and drop it down and then roll down again as you breathe out and roll up. Arms up, arms to the side and drop it down. In breath, exhale out one more time, inhale. And exhale. And you are all done. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely class. And I hope to see you 
in my other class. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best. If you enjoyed this video, click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you my favorite Pilates for total strong body members only workout. This workout will open, stretch and strengthen your entire body. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my free videos. See you in the next class.